Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Today we are in our second lecture and we will cover point from 11 to 20. The first point is auto fill and how we can fill auto uh, numbers dates. So I can move this and you can see it is completed and if I select these two patterns 1, 2 and if I move this now you can see the pattern in the month name the same is the case it will automatically create the month name and in the date case uh, you can see it is the function of autofill in Excel. The, uh, the twelfth part is to fill pictures in the bar chart instead of simple colors. Now we can go towards here, click on this and go towards this option. And in the fill option, you can find picture or texture fill. I will uh, go towards here, look for a file, and if I have some file here and I can click on it, you can see it is filled with pictures now the 13th option is if function we can uh, fill the column on the basis of values so here it is a category column I will go here click on this function and in the function I will select if in the if function I will click ok and first of all I will select this column salary and if salary is greater than 300 I will write high otherwise low so I will press enter you can see the column is filled according to the uh, condition of if and else. Now I will move towards the 14 function. The 14 is to insert a screenshot in the excel file, a screenshot of the current document. So I will go towards here and go towards a screenshot and in the screenshot option uh, I will click it and it will show me uh, I can uh, clip the screen right now and you can see uh, the screenshot is here and I can adjust the size and paste it anywhere now uh, the 15th option is the relative and absolute reference first of all I will talk about the relative reference I will go towards is double column and select this this is b12 so I will write is equals to b12 multiplied by 2 ok you can see the column is auto filled it is the double column and it is the relative reference I am uh, multiplying it by 2 but if I want to add bonus to all of the amount suppose that this is the column F12 so I can write F12 and if I write plus E7 which is 50 the bonus amount if I write it is uh, showing me the error here the value error because this is the absolute reference so for doing the absolute reference the method should be different and if you are giving absolute reference instead of writing e7 you should write dollar e and dollar 7 now excel is able to take the absolute reference and you can't see any of the error here so after doing the 15 part i will go to 16 and 16 is about co copying and pasting values from any document okay so this value is only in the one column and if i want to split uh, these values what i have to do i will select this go to words data and text to column and text to column i will select delimited and go towards next and i want to separate it by comma because comma is present and i want to split them i next and finish now you can see all of the values are splitted into three columns now after splitting i will go towards conditional formatting it is very easy here it's the data i will select it go towards data or go towards home tab and you can see it here is conditional formatting i will make the rules if something is greater uh, or less than 100 or greater than 100 uh, it is the greater than tab greater than 100 I want to fill it dark red ok and you can see the conditional formatting is here you can uh, do conditional formatting in the whole of the tables and color values this option is for power pivot and in this lecture you have to uh, activate the power pivot and we will discuss more about in the next lecture so we will go towards file options and the option you will go towards add-ins and you can go com add-ins and go and activate check it down and there are a hundred of uses of power pivot we will discuss in the uh, next lecture you have to explore it by yourself the next option is free spins suppose uh, that you are here and you want to write something here 
and you want to move down but you don't want to uh, want this abc to get height so i will go towards view column and freeze top row and you can see here is the top row and if i move towards or uh, down uh, the column is freeze so in the same way you can freeze uh, rows and in the same way you can freeze columns the last option is 3d referencing tool it is a very important and very necessary option a sing change in single worksheet enable to enable you to make changes in work worksheet at one for 3d referencing i can press shift key and select all the sheets first and after doing it i will go here and write something and we will see the changes in all of the sheets sheet 2 sheet 1 